Hello everybody. The purpose of this short video will be to show you how to use Adobe Edge Animate in order to generate a very simple quiz that you can use and post on your websites to reinforce the learning that your students are actively undergoing. All of this is derived from the work of a Mr. Joseph Lebrecq who posted a much more um, exhaustive and comprehensive talk on this subject, which I will certainly include the link to, but um, I am st standing on his shoulders and using all of his work in order to help simplify the process. The first step is to download uh, his Adobe Edge Animate project. And again, I'll include the link so that you can do that. You then open that folder and go to the data folder. Now that, the data folder includes a JSON file, JSON file, which Adobe Edge Animate uses in order to um, fill in the different questions by using symbols. So his quiz, which is listed here, is going to show up in um, Adobe Brackets, but you can use any text editor. It doesn't really matter. And if you can see, um, he has his various questions. So he has the question, and then he has the answers. There's only three potential options for the answers. And then he indicates which is the correct answer so that the student is given feedback when they answer the question. Now, uh, a little bit more about this number. It refers to the number of an array. And arrays start with 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. So if um, it says the correct answer is 1, it would actually be the second answer listed here. Um, 2 would be the third one, 0, 1, 2. 0 would be the first one. So that all you have to do is find the JSON file, if that's how you pronounce it, change this question into your question, and change the answers in a way that it corresponds to what's listed as the correct answer. Of course, you could change which answer is correct as long as you're um, sure about changing what's listed as the correct answer. So, for example, you know, on my website, I have brain questions. So here is my brain JSON file. And um, I just substituted my questions and answers following which one is supposed to be the correct one. So here they are. So after you do that, after you create your JSON file, which has to go in that data folder, then you're ready to go to Edge Animate. And what you'll need to do in Edge Animate is go to the code which you can find for the stage. So we have the stage selected. If you click this bracket, it will in fact open up the code that Mr. Lebrecq has already done for us, so we don't have to do anything. And the important thing here is to tell this particular Edge Animate file where the data is. So it's in the data folder, and here's where he named it quiz. That's his absinthe quiz. Here's mine, and I open that. I named my quiz brain, and it's still in the data folder. So that's the only thing you'll know and need to know in order to put your own questions in. Then um, he has various images that he has animated, and in order to substitute his images for the ones that you want, you can go to the file, 
select the image. So here I've selected his absinthe bourgeois image. And if you go right over here under image, it will allow you to switch out that image for any image of your choosing. So that, for example, in my brain quiz, I've um, changed the background image and I changed his image into my logo. And the last thing that you need to do is to just select this text and change the text to whatever you want it to say. And once you've done that, you save your quiz under any name you want, obviously different than his name, Absinthe Intro, and that's your quiz. So if I want to visualize this, I hit Control Enter, and there's my animation, and uh, there's a question. And um, that's all you have to do, and it should go to the next question, etc. So let me show how his works. Mr. Lebrec, we thank you very much. So what is absinthe? You um, click an answer. It gives you feedback. And it automatically advances to the next question. It's as easy as that. I'll include all of the links so you can see the original material. And hopefully this will enable you to, again, use Edge Animate to make simple quizzes. Thank you for your attention and good luck teaching.